Yo guys, what's up? Um, today I'm going to be doing an intake on the Micra. Um, I bought this one off uh, a guy on one of the Facebook groups, um, but it's actually just homemade. Um, it's dead easy to make. Um, yeah, you can get all, I've had a look, and you can get all the parts for about 40, 40 pounds um, to make the whole intake. And you can actually assemble it in loads of different ways. I'll um, show you now. So, um, basically, the throttle body is about, about there. Um, the guy that I bought it off had it like this and took that plate out from behind there and had it resting behind the grill um, which is quite a good idea but then um, basically you're going to get a lot of heat soak from the cat because I've still got the cat in and the engine as well um, so what I'm going to try and do is spin that that one round so it's facing down and have it down here somewhere I might have to cut the pipe down a little bit um, but it should work and actually if you wanted to if you'd really locate your battery into the boot you can have it that way around as well um, so yeah it's pretty cool all it is is a, a cheap filter I'm probably gonna actually get a better filter for it eventually uh, 70 mil pipe um, that's just been cut into two pieces and then a 70 mil uh, 45 degree bend and then a 70 mil um, 90 degree bend and then just four hose clips and then this hose clip comes with the filter anyway um, so yeah what I'm gonna do now whip the air box off and we'll see what it looks like uh, to get on so once the air box is off obviously there's nowhere for this to go so I've got this little filter just to go on there um, I'll eventually put a proper catch tank in but that'll do for now um, it just go on like that and clip up but I'm not gonna put it on yet because uh, because these uh, this is this here was the bracket for the airbox the airbox bolts into there so what I'm gonna do because I don't need that bracket it's a few grams that I don't need so I'm gonna take the earths off here and bolt them to where the bracket bolts up to down here and then I can just get rid of the metal bracket. It just look a bit tidier than having a bracket that has no use uh, lying about. Um, but yeah, that's just one thing that I just thought it'd make it look a, a little bit better than having the bracket there. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull the earths off and bolt them down here and just ditch the bracket. There it is, all back together. Um, that's a breather filter I've put on for the um, rock cover. Um, one thing I would say about these Ash performance things is they're a bit crap to be honest, it fell apart in my hand. Um, as you can see the wires poking out there and the top fell off. This rubber bit fell out, it's not very well sealed, it literally turns around. Um, so I'd maybe invest in a better, better breather filter if you're going to do that. And the same with the air filter as well actually. Because this, I don't think the guy I bought it off had it on very long. And as you can see down there it's all started going rusty, I've tried to hide it at the bottom. but. Yeah, the filter's gotten rusty not after a while, so I'm going to actually get a better filter for it. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. And then, yeah, that bracket that I took off down there, that's I took that took that bracket off and bolted the earth straight to the block. Um, I just thought it looks a bit, it looks a lot tidier without the bracket there. And yeah, that's it, just all bolted on. Um, one thing you have to do to get that, that black pipe that runs down here off the standard air box you have to take the battery out and then take the the bolts out of the bottle and just move it out of the way so you can get to the bolt at the bottom um, it's not a big hassle but um, it's just worth mentioning um, yeah and then the other thing the only other bolt was up here holding the pipe on um, off that off that bracket that I've taken off and then there was just a jubilee jubilee clip obviously holding it to the throttle body um, but yeah that's it um, for what, what I've done is stuck a cable tie through that bracket for now just to pull it down because if you leave it where it's um, leave it without it it's going to rattle against the side and it'll make a racket um, but actually my friend Luke's grabbing me a bit of metal from his work a bit of stainless steel and I'm going to bolt it it's just a thin strip but I'm going to bolt it to that hole there I don't know if the camera will pick it up but there's a bolt hole there and then just um, clamp it in between the hose clip just to hold it sturdy and just look a bit better than the cable tie um, but it works for now um, but yeah I've not even started it up yet so I guess um, the big question is what does it sound like um, so we'll give it a try and see what it 
sounds like, if I can find my keys. There we go. It was like absolutely silent before, so um, and I've, I've got I've got standard exhaust system on at first, so any noise is literally just going to be the air intake. Ignore my heat shield rattle as well. Um, still pretty quiet on tip over. So, just give it a quick rev. Yo, so that was the, uh, that's it, all back together. Um, sounds pretty decent. I don't know if the camera will pick it up that well, but it does sound good. Um, yeah, basically, um, I won't bother getting any rolling shots of the sound at the moment because I'll be going to Three Sisters in a couple of days um, to do a bit of track time. Um, me and Rob are going to spend a day on the micro tomorrow, um, getting it all ready, and then so tomorrow's Thursday, and then. Friday it's going in for alignment and then Saturday we're going racing in it so uh, um, yeah basically just to give it a bit of a shakedown um, we're going to Three Sisters so it's not a, like a full track day you just pay for sessions but um, it's just to test the suspension more than anything and make sure it's all okay and um, yeah, ba yeah basically just test the suspension and if it goes all okay then I'll book it on a full track day somewhere uh, I don't know what else there is. Yeah, and um, basically I've taken the suspension video down um, because um, I've made a few adjustments. I'm actually working with, uh, talking to Eden at Gizfab about making some actual kits so that you can use the micro top mounts. I've figured out a way of doing it perfectly. Um, we're just gonna make sure that it tra tracks and aligns up okay on, on Friday. Um, I'm pretty confident it will. Um, but yeah, I've been driving around on it for a few days and it's been absolutely perfect. Um, so I've just made a few adjustments and I've actually made a few adjustments to the back as well um, that have made like totally transformed the, the um, handling of the car and um, just the um, drivability of it really. It's, it's a lot less stiff and actually feels like you're on half decent suspension rather than being bumping down the road um, like you're on cut springs. But um, yeah, so I'll, I will have I will put this a, a revised version of the suspension video back up in maybe a week or two, um, and show you exactly how to do it properly. And um, I'm working with Git, like I say, I'm working with Gizfab to um, get the spaces made up. And if it all works okay, then he'll probably sell the, the spaces um, so that actually you can just buy them and put the suspension together without any hassle. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe if you want to see that. And yeah, give the video a like if it's been helpful. I'll drop a link for all of the stuff that's needed um, for fitting the induction kit in the description. Um, so every, everything will be there. Um, basically, straight bit of 70 mil pipe, 70 mil, 90, 70 mil, 45 degree. Uh, the filter, the um, breather filter as well, and the Jubilee clips. Um, like I say, the filters aren't that great, so um, they are the, the cheapest, but obviously they're the cheapest for a reason because they're probably going to go rusty. Um, so you might want to invest in a different filter, but I'll I'll just put a link for the one that I've put got on for now, just because that with all with all of that, the kit comes to around about forty pounds. Um, but obviously, if you want to invest in a better filter, it's going to cost you a little bit more. So um, yeah, peace out. Catch you in the next video, um, and thanks for watching.